I'm Gary Hendershot. I'm here with my friend Richard Friedemann. Uh, this is his concentration camp uniform issued to him. Well, actually, it's not issued to him. It's the, it's the one that he uh, that he took when he was in Auschwitz. He was selected for death, and um, he escaped by the help of some Soviet prisoners of war. And then he took this uniform, this concentration camp outfit um, off of a dead person that was already in the cart, the nightly cart full of dead people. Um, and it, it had a different number on it, um, did not correlate with his tattoo, with his B-4112, but he was able to somehow, you know, use this uniform and begin again and eventually get transferred to Dachau and eventually get transferred from Dachau concentration camp up to another concentration camp, yet another concentration camp, and eventually ended up at the Messerschmitt Aircraft Factory. Um, but this is his last clothing from the concentration camps. Um, and I think it's very interesting the way it's made. You know, this was his secret pocket that he sewed in. This was uh, this hole here. This is where he had his spoon, because they, uh, for some reason, the Nazis and the SS uh, prison guards would not give uh, spoons to the uh, the prisoners. It's crudely made. I believe the fabric is, you said, was made from a wood pulp. Wood pulp. Uh, it's got several repairs. Mm -hmm. Here you can see he has a huge tear here. I don't know what you were doing to get that big of a tear in your clothing, but I'm sure you were. I don't know how I could get hold of needle and and stitch. I know, you know but you it did. It was extremely hard to get anything. Original concentration camp clothing is extremely rare. 